everyone, it's John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. I want to answer a reader email today and actually it's more of a reader comment. It was in one of my last driving episodes. Uh, this particular viewer asked me, can I talk about making an autoresponder series? Like what goes into a good autoresponder? You know, I talked about the importance of uh, building a email list and how that is the foundation for building a real business. You know, you instead of buying traffic and sending it to an advertiser's landing page and then giving the advertiser to the customer, you send them to your own landing page and get them to opt in to you. So then you can follow up with them to build a relationship and recommend products and services to them and that's how you make money. So the question is like, what is a, how to make a good autoresponder sequence? And I want to give you the best tip I ever got to creating a great autoresponder. And that is subscribe to someone else's autoresponder. A lot of people load that, they, it never occurs to them. Like, if you want to learn how to do something right, the best way to do it is not to reinvent the wheel. The best way to do it is simply to take something that's already working and use that. So what I do is uh, when I was crafting my autoresponder to get ideas on how to create a good one, I subscribe to all the other internet marketers' uh, email lists. So Frank Kearns, uh, John Reese, Jerry Sh Jeremy Shoemaker, I subscribe to their list so I can see what they send me and I get an idea of their autoresponder, right? So it's not like I didn't realize that you know, a lot of people, uh, I don't want to subscribe or I'm not going to subscribe to them because I'm not going to buy anything from them. No, I subscribe to them not to buy from them. I subscribe to Frank Kern to see what kind of follow-up he sends me and see how he words the follow-up so therefore I can take you know, the elements and techniques that he used and incorporate it into my autoresponder sequence. So uh, that is, that's the first thing you should do to, to get better at creating autoresponder. Subscribe to other people in that doing the same thing you're doing. Subscribe to their list and see what kind of follow-up they send you. And then, you know, take, take ideas from that, take bits and pieces from that, and then uh, use that to create your autoresponder, all right? So uh, that's, the, that's the first tip. And uh, I guess, in, uh, uh, I guess in, in future episodes, I'll show you a few more tips. But for now, uh, that, that's, uh, that's what you should do. Basically, uh, just go subscribe. I mean, you, you subscribe to my list, so you get an idea how I do it. Now subscribe to other people's list and see how they're doing it. And then just take the best ideas and create your own autoresponder. John Chapel, John Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next episode.